Good morning. I hope this audio is okay. I'm just wearing an AirPod. It's a little bit windy, so. Um, and it's, it's like that weird kind of sunny where it's overcast but sunny, so if I'm squinting a lot, that's, uh, that is why. Um, day seven in Belize. Wow, feels like a lifetime. Um, I can't believe we're gonna be doing this for a year. <laughs> it is amazing and fulfilling and also not for the faint of heart, I will tell you. Um, it's been, it's been, I think exactly intellectually what I expected it to be or, or sort of knew that it would be, but still every day brings a new surprise in terms of um, sort of what happens each day or even just the emotions that we're experiencing. So um, the last video I shared was day one and um, was sharing that we'd, it would already been such a roller coaster of emotions in just day one. That has continued to a degree but plateaued in a big way as well. Um, we're definitely settling in, we're definitely finding our rhythm. Um, and it's actually been really cool and really empowering to see what, like just that we're able to do this every day and that we, I, you know, it's sustainable and that we will be able to do it long term, I think. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's post if I'm still standing or sitting. Um, so we've been here for a week. It's been really cool. The girls have been awesome. Chris and I have been um, really, really good about being intentional with our time and with our money as well. Um, like I said last time, this is not a vacation and it can be hard to sort of unlearn or sort of decouple the like vacation vibes from like when you're in a vacation setting. So um, anyway, it's just been really neat to like see us kind of settling in and just adapting our life that we had back in the US to a new place. And um, we have met some really, really cool people along the way. I shared an Instagram post um, a couple days ago. We met this really sweet family from Canada. They were on their golf cart driving. Down. There's one road in um, where we're staying. Just one road is very bumpy. Um, it feels like we're off-roading every single day <laughs> when we go on it um, and it's pretty crazy and it takes about an hour to get to the closest town. But anyway, this sweet little family was coming the opposite way as us and they had two little girls so we just stopped and talked for a little bit and we invited them to come and swim where we're staying and just come and hang out and talked and we had a really great connection just right out the bat. So, and the girls played really well together. So um, the next day they invited us to come to stay um, and swim and play and hang out on their, where they're staying. They're just here for a week, but I think they leave today. Um, so we're kind of sad about that, but um, yeah, it's just been really cool. The people we've met along the way, I would say for me, that's been the highlight is just like stopping and talking to everybody. Um, Chris is like fast friends with everyone that works here. Um, he hangs out at the like little bar restaurant, um, not necessarily drinking, but like he played dominoes with the bartender for like four hours yesterday. And a um, guy named Edwin, really cool and just like learned about life here and what it's like. And um, something really um, profound that he learned is that most of the people who live on this island their families live back on the mainland and so they come out here and work because the money's better and because tourism is, is um, really strong out here. So they make they make all their money out here and they see their families just one week a year, even though it's, it's relatively close. Um, we were just really taken aback by that and um, yeah, just really inspired by the people here who are working so hard to provide for their families and just not wanting to take for granted our situation too of getting to be together all the time. We talked about that with the girls and Lennox especially was like, oh, they only see their dads and, and you know, families every once a week or once a year. Um, yeah, anyway, just um, really cool the things that we're already learning and getting to know the people 
Um, Lennox knows a lot of the people that work on our property like by name so it's been really special um, and we've met a lot of people along the way who you know just people want to ask where are you from and it's a complicated answer for us um, and when we share that we're full-time traveling people always want to like talk for a really long time and ask a lot of questions about that and are generally I think I mean for the most part I think they're um, yeah just like kind of in awe of it and I am sometimes in awe of it as well although on the day-to-day -day it doesn't feel it's like oh yeah we're just living we're just doing homeschool we're just making pancakes for breakfast we're just doing laundry in the sink like just very normal things but um, when I zoom out and I was listening to a podcast sort of meditation this morning while I've been sitting out here I try to take about like an hour to myself every morning before Chris needs to start working and I have to start doing homeschool um, amongst other things um, but I was listening to a podcast this morning and it just really um, made me pretty proud of what we're doing and and mostly because of how rooted in intention and values this whole move is um, I want to do like a whole person I have a dream of whatever blog on the why and the family values that led us to this um, and we will but it's just we actually did something that we've been talking about for a long time that's so in line with our values whoa okay <laughs> storms are coming I think my time is up Okay, that was crazy. Um, that came out of nowhere. Hopefully this AirPod is still working. <laughs> um, I, I have seek to shelter on this um, unit that I don't think is occupied um, to ride out the storm. Wow, that was crazy. Um, anyway, life unexpected, take it as it comes. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that was so ridiculous and amazing and perfect, <laughs> exactly why we're doing what we're doing is just like embracing the crazy and rolling with it and yeah anyway now it's like beautiful and i'm sitting in the mosquito net because especially after rain the mosquitoes can get pretty gnarly what's great is when a mosquito gets inside your mosquito net and then it's trapped <laughs> God. oh you know learning to adapt with every moment um Anyway, I think what I was saying before was that this was just a really values aligned decision. Um, it took many years to make it um, and, or it took many years to say yes to it, I should say. Like we've had the dream and the vision for going on seven or eight years now and it just, the universe was telling us it was time. So here we are living our values based life in the jungle slash beach, uh, 10 miles north of the nearest town that you can only get to on one road via golf cart. And it's hard. There's been a lot of challenges. The mosquitoes are really, really hard for me. Um, mostly because it's they are negatively impacting a vision, right? And when a vision gets disrupted, it can be a hard pill to swallow. So I've just been working on shifting through that and restoring and then just recommitting to why we did this and you kind of got to take the good with the, the bad with the good and the ugly and all the things so um anyway simple life we're here doing our thing and uh taking each day as it comes